Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass. Now with new devices like the Note 8 and the newly announced iPhone 8, what we're gonna be doing today is taking a look at if you can get a similar sort of dual lens design with a lens attachment. Now the one that we're gonna be looking at today is the Orki 2-in-1 wide angle and macro lens. So let's take a look. Now in terms of the actual box itself, it's just some very plain packaging, but it is completely recyclable, which is a really awesome feature to have. And the first thing that you're gonna find is a really great two year warranty. Now this is something that not all products come with. So if you head over to the website and register it, you're gonna get a two year warranty on your lens, which is really awesome in case there's any problems moving forward. The next thing you're gonna have then is just a little instruction manual in terms of how to use the lens, getting to the macro and wide angle lens, and also attaching it to the base plate, which is what you use then to connect it to your device. We then have the lens itself followed by the actual mount that you're going to use to put it on your smartphone and the way that the mount is designed it's pretty much going to work across multiple devices. You're also going to get a really awesome microfiber cloth and also a nice carrying pouch as well. Now this is going to protect the lens but in terms of dropping it I'm not sure how well the case is going to hold up but in terms of using it to maybe clean the device you've definitely got the option to do so. In terms of the actual clamp to use on your smartphone as you can see here it opens quite wide to fit a variety of different devices and you've also got a nice rubber pad on the back of where the lens attaches and also on the other side of the clip as well so you're not really going to have any problems whatsoever. Now one thing that I also found is when you clip it to your phone if it touches the screen it also doesn't prompt any button presses either so again you don't need to worry about switching modes when you're in the camera application because a lot of the controls in a lot of the applications for the camera are you know around that sort of area near the top end of the screen. In terms of the lens itself, it's a really well-built lens. It's made completely out of metal, and again, you can see here, it's got a really nice design to it, and it's kind of stealthy. It reminds me of something like from Splinter Cell back in the day in terms of the mask that Sam Fisher used to wear. So if you guys remember that game, drop it a like down below. Now, the actual lens itself, as I mentioned, is a two-in-one lens. So you're gonna get the standard wide-angle lens, and you're also gonna get then the macro lens as well. Now, you've got a lens cap on one side, and also on the other side, so it's completely protected. But one thing that I would note is when it is in the actual mount itself to attach it to your phone, there's no way to cover the other side of the lens closest to your camera. Now, that's not necessarily gonna be a massive problem because you're not really gonna get any dust or dirt in there because it is against the phone. But when you then put it into a bag or you don't have it with the actual mount on the back, then yeah, you may get some dust in the back there. So I wouldn't lose these clamps if I were you. The lens itself though is really sturdy and as you can see here all you need to do is just unscrew the top half and then you're going to have the two separate lenses. You've got the wide angle lens which is on the left hand side here and then you've got the macro lens on the right hand side. Now as you can see the glass itself is extremely thick and it looks really durable and it's also crystal clear as well. Now the only thing that I would say is moving forward I am going to have to double check in terms of how the picture quality looks which we're going to get onto in just a moment as with some lenses like this you do start to see the edge of the lens and get a maybe a little bit of vignette around the edge but again we're going to look at some samples in just a moment now as you can see here though the lens itself is very sturdy and in terms of the macro lens as well you can see there that it is extremely tiny compared to the wide angle lens now the macro lens in my opinion isn't necessarily as useful as the wide angle lens obviously with the wide angle you can get some really nice landscape shots and some close-up shots that distort to make it actually look kind of good which we're going to look at in a moment as well but in terms of the macro lens it's a very limited use case in my opinion if you do want to get some close-up shots of certain objects to show off to people then it's great but in my opinion it's not the best in terms of overall photography unlike the wide angle lens or just in general the standard focal distance on your mobile device but if you're like me the main thing that you want to see is how the actual pictures look so once you've got everything screwed on to the actual mount itself you're pretty much set and ready to go now there is a little bit of alignment that you need to do and with something like the original iPhone 6 or 7 not including the plus variants you're gonna have a really nice seal around the camera with a Galaxy device like mine for example it's maybe a little bit more awkward to get it just right but the good thing is you can look straight through the lens to make sure your camera is dead center so what we're going to be doing now is taking a look at some photos and also video samples as well to see exactly how good or not so good this lens actually is so starting off with the photos and I was actually pleasantly surprised. If you look back on the channel or in the description down below where I'm going to link some previous videos, I've had a bunch of lenses come through and I've not really used them in the future. This however is one lens that I think I'm going to continue to use moving forward. It's got really good clarity to it. Now don't get me wrong, if you look in the top left or right hand corners, you can see a little bit of the lens itself. But again that can be resolved with a little bit of minor adjustments to the lens placement itself. You get some really 
clear images and in terms of the actual quality they're really good even if you do some pixel peeping and zoom in on some of these photos they look really nice now it can get a little bit blurry towards the outer limits of the actual lens or the picture itself so that's definitely something to keep in mind as you want to have something centered that you're taking a photo of obviously with a wide angle lens you do get some distortion that can look really awesome in certain shots buildings one of my favorite things to use for wide angle whether that's with my Canon camera or with a lens attachment like this but as you can see here it has a really awesome effect to it but again you can see a little bit of blur just around the edges here we have a normal shot and you can see just in general what you're going to get in the shot when you move up to the wide angle lens you've got some extra signs and again moving back in you can't really see all that much and a shot like this I think looks even better with the wide angle moving to more of a portrait sort of view again this is where it shines as you kind of get nearly a 180 degree view of what's above you you can see here just how much more you're going to get in the actual picture itself so a wide angle lens in this situation is really great in my opinion now one thing that this lens is also great for is definitely video. Now as you can see here as I point it down to the ground you can see where the distortion comes in with kind of giving it that globe effect where the lines aren't exactly straight if I was using the normal camera for example and it punches in ever so slightly when you're taking video so it gets rid of anything around the edge. So this in my opinion is a really great use case for this type of lens is for video purposes. You can get a lot more in the shots and in my opinion wide angle lenses and just general wide angle footage looks really awesome. Now, I wouldn't necessarily use it for everything, but as you can see here, as I switch between the normal and wide angle lens, you can see so much more. This was taken on a train, and when I'm in the normal view, you can see that it's very limited. You've kind of got half and half in terms of the sky and then also the ground, and as the bushes go by, you're pretty much obstructing anything that you want to see. Once you then switch over to the wide angle lens, you can see that you get so much more in, and it just makes everything, in my opinion, look a little bit better. Now, yes, again, you do get a slight bit of blurring around the outside as well. Well, but again it's not really all that bad because it punches in ever so slightly so you're closer to that clearer point on the actual lens itself so in my opinion video is a really great use case for this lens but then again photos as I've mentioned do also look really good and to be honest guys that is going to do it for this video now let me know in the comments section what you thought of the samples and just in general the lenses overall and if you've got any more questions or comments let me know in the comments section down below or you can hit me up on twitter at copper versus glass if you want to get some more great content like this in the future don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up down below now for those of you that have made it this far in the video, thanks very much and I'm going to be doing a giveaway. As you can see here, I've got way more of these lenses than I need, 5 in total, I'm going to be giving them away to you guys. Now it is going to be a UK exclusive giveaway, but I'm hoping to do something more international in the future, so subscribing is a great way to keep up to date with what's going on on the channel. Now I'm going to announce the giveaways on both Instagram and Twitter, so make sure to follow me there and all links to my social networks will be down in the description down below. In terms of entering, all you need to do is make sure you subscribe here on the channel at copper versus glass and also give this video a thumbs up down below and if you want to write something in the comments as to why you like one of these lenses that may also help you out as well also in the description is going to be a link to Orki's website and also their Facebook page and I would definitely recommend going over and checking out exactly what they've got on offer as I've been using their products for many years now and I can definitely recommend them so that's it guys I've got five lenses here good luck in the giveaway and again thanks very much for watching I'm Michael from copper versus glass and I will catch you guys in the next video. And don't forget guys, if you want to be one of the first people to see this video or future videos, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell to get notified anytime I post a new video.